Number 1. Man tased and arrested for being black. Something unbelievable happened in Georgia when three police officers mistakenly tased and handcuffed a man named Patrick Mumford, thinking he was someone else named Michael Clay. This happened on February 1, 2016, when Mumford was sitting in a driveway. The police had a warrant for Michael Clay and assumed Mumford was him, even though there weren't any similarities between the two men. After the mix-up, Mumford was charged with violating probation for a non-violent drug offense and he could face up to seven years in jail. The police even argued with people nearby about whether Mumford resembled the suspect they were looking for. This whole situation started right after the police arrived at the Savannah residence to find Michael Clay, as explained by Mumford's attorney, Will Claiborne. Claiborne said that the problem was that Patrick Mumford and Michael Clay didn't look alike at all, and yet the police treated Mumford as if he were Clay. When Mumford said his name was Patrick, the officers didn't believe him. Claiborne mentioned that if the police had received proper training, they would have known that not all black men look the same. Claiborne's law firm has shared an edited version of the body camera video, which they obtained by requesting public records. This happened at a time when the country was dealing with the recent deaths of two black men, Philando Castile in St. Paul, Minnesota, and Alton Sterling in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, at the hands of the police. It unfolded as Black Lives Matter protesters across the nation were trying to address the issue of law enforcement using deadly force against black men and women. Claiborne hopes that the Savannah Police Department can learn something from this incident and that it sheds light on why some people are afraid of the police. Get your hand out now. You, you got three seconds. Three seconds. Dude, do not reach. Get up. Put your hands on the car. I'm getting up, man. Get do it. Three. Come out. Two. All right, take him. All right, get off. Get off. Move. move. You coming out or not? Dude, stand back. In the video, Mumford is sitting in his car facing the police with his feet outside the vehicle on the pavement. He refuses to get out of the car until they show him a warrant. However, one of the officers starts counting down and orders the use of a stun gun. Mumford raises his leg in fear to shield himself from the taser. From the moment the police approached Mumford to when they ordered the tasering, only 38 seconds had passed, according to Mumford's lawyer. Get out of the car now! We're not telling you again. You better get out of the car. Get out of the car. You have a warrant. Get out of the car. Take him. Take him. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Hey, y'all better leave me alone, cousin. Move, Fox. Move! After Mumford was tased, he quickly gave in to the aggressive use of force by the police officers. But his struggles didn't end there. Man, I'm tough, cousin. I'm tough. Hey, Jay, get my... Hey, Jay, call my people, man. Call my people, man. Call my people, Jay. Hey, Jay, 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 quit reaching. Take my wallet, Jack. Take my wallet, Jack. Take my wallet, please, Jack. Quit reaching. Give it to you. Go with him. Despite being innocent, Mumford's behavior seemed like that of someone who was guilty or at least very confused. Okay, go ahead. Stop, stop, stop. Man, tell me what's yeah, going yeah, on. Yeah, that's cold. Something's going on, man. I got you, I got you. I'm going to get it. You got to Don't pull it off. You're going to cut yourself. He been searched good? Nope. He keeps reaching for his back. Quit! Quit resisting! Got I got it, guys. Just get, get, search whatever he's going for. Okay. The police then took his wallet so they could ID him. Nevertheless, this is a horrible situation to be in. Mumford, it seems, only wanted his wallet back. The police officers attempted to provide a reason to explain their aggressive actions. Get my keys out the car. Lock my car. ID's right. The officer acknowledged that they handcuffed and tased him by accident because they believed he was a different person. I don't know if you got a warrant. Because you're not who I'm looking for. But here's the deal. When I ask you for ID because you look a lot like the person we're looking oh, for. Oh, man, y'all is hell. Ow! 
Mumford shouldn't have inquired about the other person because doing so made it seem like he knew that person, which raised suspicion. Even after they figured out he wasn't the person they were looking for, it still took them a while to remove the handcuffs from him. Michael's here, sir. Does Michael stay here? Oh, wow. I'm looking at that picture of me. It's not far off. Okay, are we wrong? You're not and he wrong. Does, he doesn't want to give us his ID. Why are you just being cooperating? Shut up! Just shut up! Just shut up! I'm pissed! As it turned out, in October 2014, Mumford pled guilty to charges related to marijuana possession and possession of a controlled substance, although he wasn't convicted due to being a first-time offender. He received probation instead. But this time, it was the police who were at mistake. This arrest put Mumford's job as a certified collision specialist at risk and he might had to leave college, where he's pursuing an associate's degree, as mentioned by Claiborne. Attempts to reach the Savannah Chatham Metropolitan Police Department for comment were unsuccessful. However, arrest reports provide some insight into their actions. The Georgia police were searching for a person named Michael Bernard Clay. They received a call from a detective in California who wanted to confirm where Clay lived in Savannah. The reason for this was that Clay had given the police a phone that was involved in a robbery. The police also discovered that Clay had an active warrant for a simple assault charge in Cobb County. The police say they tried several times to get Mumford to cooperate with them, but he refused and physically resisted them. According to the officer with the body camera, Mumford raised his right foot as if he was going to kick the officer while the officer was aiming a taser at him. The officer also claimed that Mumford seemed like he was reaching for a weapon as he moved back into the vehicle. Other officers at the scene also said that Clay's mother, who arrived there, admitted that her son and Mumford looked similar. She said they looked very much alike, and she understood why all three officers might have thought Patrick Mumford was actually Michael Clay. I asked him for his ID three times, oh, ma'am. I saw him with you. It's all on video. I said, ma'am, let me get your ID. Get and he started climbing the, the door, car yeah. and pulling away why from us. Why would you try to run from the police? Notice how they still hold Mumford down. What do you think, Nate? Thought he was Michael because he pulled up here in the yard like he lived here. So they thought he was Michael. And, and when we asked him for his ID, he wanted to be right. not very cooperative. Okay, you, no, you know what? It's all don't worry about it. We got it all. After being proven that they were mistaken, the officers tried to justify themselves before Mumford. We got cool with us? our cameras, and we got other cameras, and we have a vehicle without a tag in the driveway. Picture you got looks a lot like you, and you're sitting in the house where he's posted the last address we have for him. Okay? These police officers are indifferent to their actions towards people. Then, they come up with the reasons to justify their illegal actions and keep using force and violence to make it seem acceptable. Right now, it's just obstruction because he didn't want to comply with us, okay, when we asked him for, for everything. What's troubling is that they lied while they were being recorded. They didn't request his ID or name. He voluntarily provided it. Then, they arrested him and tried to downplay the situation by falsely claiming that he had asked for ID three times. I told him my name, the man named Michael. I told my name Patrick. He said Patrick, but when we asked for ID to confirm it, that's when he that's started. That's when he started it, yeah. And I'm, it's, everything's on video, okay? It's not like we came up here just saying, hey, we're going to jack you up, okay? Okay, when I have someone in a car that looks like you have a warrant, I'm not going to play the hanky panky game of, of Peter around. And when he's trying to get back into a car where I don't know if there's a weapon at, I'm going to act appropriately, sir. After a while, Mumford was released. Later, Patrick Mumford filed a lawsuit against the police department and won $100,000. If you want to watch more of these videos and want to expose corrupt cops, please subscribe to the channel.